In the last video, we, we successfully created an environment and application and deployed our Django application onto the environment and we got the health status as green. Okay. In this video, we are going to configure our databases. So what we are going to do is on the left hand side, go to configuration. And then this is the configuration scroll at the bottom. It says database. Click on edit. So it's trying to fetch the RDS details. Right. Awesome. So we are going to use MySQL. Let's put a username as admin, password as admin, admin. All right. Let's create a snapshot. That's fine. And what we are going to do is let's check one more time whether we have everything. Okay. All right. Click on continue trying to validate and so if you see this is the database and this is the endpoint if you saw my first video uh, you have seen that we have configured our rds or our uh, relational database aws rds by creating a database right but in this this time we need to configure it with our elastic beanstalk we did use an endpoint last time in this also we are going to use an endpoint but right now it says undefined okay so let's apply all the changes So let's look at the RDS now since we have already set up the database. Let's make a duplicate of this and go to our RDS and check whether something has been created over there or not. So we are in the same region and it says now there's one instance running. Right. So this is what we need, right? So it says AWS EB has created an instance, right? And we got an endpoint as well. This is the endpoint that we already always copy copy this and keep it with you and the next part that we need to do is uh, setting up the inbound rules so let's go and see whether if we have anything here go to our inbound, ru inbound rules edit right it says mysql aurora let's add our the what we did see in the first video of this uh, tutorial make this and then let's un add another which would be all traffic custom and let's try to add these it has been added okay let's go back to our rds all right so we got the endpoint uh, the inbound rules are set up let's copy this and let's see if we can connect this database with our mysql workbench so i'll give it a name eb database hs hs okay put the host name the username was admin it's asking for my password it was admin admin and says it successfully made the connection let's click on okay click on okay and let's go inside this so if you go inside this you will have an ebdb uh, table here right uh, this is the schema all right okay So our environment is also ready. So if you see uh, the health is green after we have added the database. Okay. Now what we need to do is one last thing that we will have to do is two things we need to do. One is go to our uh, models.py and if you see the host is this, right? But we just changed the host to something else. So let's put that host over here and save it. Okay, now this is not deployed yet onto our uh, uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment. But before that, let's do one more thing. Since we have this created, we need to create some tables, right? So what I've done is I already have, oops, I already have the scripts or the table names written. So let's run this. Let me uncomment this control C control S and go to our 
let's write a query here okay so there are one two three tables there are two more and this is the last one let's run this and it should create five tables all right so we do have five tables now inside this i think in the product data we need to put some data right so that it will render it uh, dynamic dynamically we have already seen this right how to render data dy dynamically and this query as well it's successful let's check whether the data was already inside it awesome so we did get the data we are doing everything on this new database schema that we have created with elastic beanstalk remember this okay now one last thing we need to do is deploy our application so that it uh, environment has the updated one so let's do ev deploy awesome our new application with the changes has been deployed let's try to open this awesome so if you see the css has been rendered uh, we got the link as well you can send this to link to anywhere and our application django application has been deployed so let's try whether everything works let's let me create a root user that also worked so account created please log in with your account details awesome that also worked so and the data has been rendered dynamically as well and we got the url as well let's go one last thing and check whether our data was coming into the database so yeah this is the data that i just registered with and if you see i could if i could come over here put some data if i add it address added right so if i go to my address table my address had been, has been added that also works right so our application has been deployed correctly right open more time right yes so the application is deployed successfully this is how you need so this is the link that you can send it to anyone which will be a deployed app and this was the tutorial that i wanted to show after doing the database configuration right you can do this uh, make it better by adding your auto scaling group and stuff like that whether you have multiple instances and a load balancer stuff like that to it but this is this is a head start that you could get on doing uh, deployment using django with elastic beanstalk this is what i wanted to show in the you in this video all right if you like our content please like share and subscribe and thank you so much if you have any doubts please leave a comment or uh, comment in the youtube video i will put the so the entire code for this is on my github please go and check and if you ever have any doubts and you would like to reach out to me personally, please write to shrinehacker at the rate gmail.com. I will put this detail in the description below or you can put a comment on the video and I would be happy to help you. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.